guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a menstrual cup update as you can see from the title. If you guys watched my previous video on this, then you will know that I have transferred over or transitioned from tampons to a menstrual cup. But I'm going to update you guys. So this is my cup. It's in this little pouch. I've actually used it for two cycles now. So I will show you guys the cup. <laughs> it's clean. Don't you worry. As you can see, I'm going to put it up here because my bed's white so you won't see it. I cut the tip off. Um, that's a tip that quite a few menstrual cup users recommend you do and I highly agree. Um, that's the first thing I noticed when I used it and I'm just going to tell you guys my first week experience. Oh my gosh. So the first fold that I tried was the C fold is what I think it's called. It's where you squish the cup down like this and you basically just fold it in half like that. This fold didn't do anything for me. Couldn't get it in. No, look at it. I, I was like, okay, sure, that might get in there. Pff, I don't know. I tried to get it in, didn't work. I was like, all right, on to the next fold, moving on. The next fold I did was this fold. I don't remember what it's called, but you squish it in like this, like the C fold, but then you push it down. And what it does is that it creates a much smaller little thing, so it like scoops in, I guess. Um, and you just squeeze it like that, and you insert it this way. I think the first thing I noticed when I used this cup was it was really awkward to put in and my arm got sore trying to figure it out because you're so used to just holding a tampon like this and just inserting it but with this you literally have to like your arms are bending like this like my arm was so awkward in this swan position but it's like upside down like that not that it was the cups fault or anything it's just I wasn't used to it I knew that there was gonna be a huge learning curve but I was hoping I was gonna be one of the lucky ones that would just quickly learn it and just get it right the first time and it would just be like yes the cup is amazing no when I finally got it in the first time I was like this feels a little weird like it, it, of course it's gonna feel weird because it's different and I've never done it before and I was like okay I mean I kind of feel it and the reason why I felt it was because of the tip. I sat around and I start to feel it coming down. Like I felt the cup moving downwards and I start to feel the tip of the cup, the tip that used to be here, coming out towards the, the opening. So I basically took it out, I cleaned it, I snipped it. I went to go reinsert it again and had like a bunch of difficulties putting it in. And when I did finally get it in, it wasn't actually in. Like it was in, but it wasn't suctioned properly, so I ended up leaking. Luckily, I had a pad, so if you are doing this for the first time, wear like a liner of some sort, like a thin pad even, just to be sure, because even when you think it's in properly, it might not be. Yeah, the first week was not that great of experience. I think I got the cup in properly once, and when I did get it in properly, it was at night, so I really just slept through the amazing experience and woke up with, you know, no blood or whatever, which is great, but I slept through it. I mean, I wanted to have the, the experience of being able to work out and being able to walk around, wear white, but no, that didn't happen. So I kind of just left the first week and said, you know what? I'll try it one more time, and if the second time doesn't work, then I'll try buying a different cup because I saw that Jen's cup, the mo from head to toe, she has the cup called the Schoon, and the difference between this and the Schoon is that this is like in like a V shape, I guess. Hers is in a bell shape, and I was like, you know what, maybe it's just the cup, so if this doesn't work out the second time, I'm going to try the Schoon. So I wasn't going to give up completely, I just wanted it to work so badly, and I really wanted to like menstrual cups. I have just finished my second cycle, and I do have to say, I think... I'm getting a better hang of it and I wasn't really looking forward to the cup as much I'm like I'm gonna fail again this is gonna suck I'm gonna have to spend another 40 bucks on another cup but it actually turned out to be a lot better this time around than the first time I don't know if it's because I took the break and like I came back with a fresh mind or something I've had a lot more successful inserts than unsuccessful and I will say it's like the most bizarre thing when the cup actually comes out and you realize that your the amount of blood that's in there is only this much like I'm not kidding you guys I would put this in the morning and around like 4 or 5 p.m. when I'm done work and I come home I will take the cup out and I literally would think because from using tampons you would think that the cup would be like full nope it's only here. That's it. And I used to wear super tampons because I had, or what I thought was a heavy flow. 
but it's not really heavy flow it's just the tampons that are really deceiving because my second time around was so much better there's so many positive things with this I'm so glad that this cup ended up working out I just need more practice with it which is good to know for me when I use the cups I only need to empty it once to twice a day maximum yeah it's super super amazing you really don't get the smell when you use a cup like it just doesn't seem like you have your period when you go pee it smells fine it doesn't smell like period blood which is nice I do have a couple of tips from using the cup I learned quite a bit this folds definitely the best fold because it makes a smaller size to insert in and if you wet it with water it makes it a little bit easier to slide in as well you know when you do kegels are they called kegels it's the muscle exercise that you do to like work out your your peach I guess it works out the muscles there women tend to do it before pregnancy anyways when you insert it in do a kegel or like you I guess contract your muscles down there and push at the same time so that is a way to make sure the cup goes up because the first time I didn't know that and I was just like pushing this cup up and it was really uncomfortable do a contracting muscle work when you insert it that doesn't work all the time because it doesn't ensure you that the cup is open I heard that you have to twist turn it while it's in there to make sure that the cup has fully opened so what I do is that as I'm inserting before I let it go up I'm still holding on to it at the edge right here I'm like turning it slightly and that will make sure it will like open and you'll feel it open and then at that point you kind of push and let your contracting muscles take it up and then another way you can do it is literally just stick your finger up there and you just kind of move around to just feel it to make sure it's opened and that's when you know that you're okay to go. You do feel this if it's not open. You'll feel like this, this really thick part right here and you'll know that's not open so you'll either have to stick your fingers up there and spin it or just take it out and just reinsert it all over again. That's my best tip is like the contracting muscle thing because that really helps to get the cup up there in the proper position. Another thing I struggled with for the first time was taking it out. I remember my first week I literally thought it was going to be stuck because I couldn't grab it. If you feel like it's stuck and because it's your first time, it's not stuck. It just it has like a point where it just doesn't go any further. So what you have to do if you're stuck is just squat, like squat to the ground and what it'll do is it'll bring this cup closer. When you squat it brings your cervix. I was gonna say bladder. It'll bring your cervix closer and it'll make it easier to pull out. So yeah, I found that super, super helpful. So when you're first trying this out, definitely try the menstrual cup at home. Don't do this while you're traveling because you know, you don't wanna be squatting on a ground that you don't know what's on the ground uh, or like squatting in the public bathroom because people will be able to see you. So with this cup, when you take it out, there's gonna be blood in it, of course. My tip before you pour it into the toilet bowl is to actually just put like two plies of toilet paper and kind of aim at the toilet paper because I mean although pouring it into the toilet bowl is kind of cool seeing it kind of just disperse like ink I know it sounds kind of gross but I thought that was kind of cool but if you don't flush the toilet immediately it's going to stick to the toilet bowl like not stick but because it's a thicker consistency it's not going to flush completely off the toilet bowl so I mean if you're gonna pour in the toilet bowl flush right away and then that will prevent that from happening or you can do what I do which is like take two plies of toilet paper and just kind of pour it on the toilet paper so then it will go down the last thing I want to talk about is cleaning tips now I ended up purchasing this was separate from buying the cup, but after I actually got it, I realized I needed the Diva wash. But this wash is 100% plant-based and there's no animal testings or animal ingredients or paraben, sulfates, or petrochemicals. So I found that this was kind of nice. It was a cleaner wash. I looked it up on Think Dirty's app and this was definitely a cleaner option instead of using like Cetaphil. Um, you want to use something that's gentle but also clean because you are putting this up yourself. So. Ziva wash is actually pretty clean in terms of like toxic chemicals and stuff. Anyways, I ended up buying this. This is expensive in comparison to the other ones. I think this is like $10 for this bottle, which is insane. So I'm going to try to find a cheaper way to clean it. I was too excited. I totally forgot to figure out a method to clean this without having to buy this. But anyways, just for the purpose of the video, if you're, if you want to buy it anyways, it does work great. It's 
a cleaner option and yeah so when you're cleaning it you do want to clean your cup every time you take it out and reinsert it so I like to rinse it out then use this wash it and then reinsert it or whatever sometimes depending on your blood or your cycle sometimes period blood can get thick or have some thick parts to it and there are four small holes at the edge of the cup up here like underneath the rim those can get blocked from your blood um, depending on what your blood is like during your period so I find that sometimes when I'm cleaning it rinsing it out using the diva wash or whatever there's still some sort of blood stuck in these holes my tip for that is filling the cup up with water. When it's filled with water, put your hand over top, flip it completely upside down like this, and put your hand to the sink and squeeze. Squeeze and it'll push the whatever's stuck in the holes out. You are gonna wanna flip your hand completely upside down because I did try it like this, and because each holes are on literally north, south, east, west, it is gonna spray everywhere. So if you have it holding this, there's gonna be water spraying at you slash blood spraying at you. So you're gonna wanna flip it upside down with the water until all the water's out and then until you see that the holes are all clean. Because you don't want to, not that you don't wanna reinsert it with that in there because it's just blood or whatever, but you don't want to clean it at the end of your cycle and then still have blood in there sitting in your drawer and it dries up there or something. Another thing with a cup is that at the end of the week they tell you to put the cup in boiling water just to sterilize it and also boil it before you start it. So that's what I do, but if you live with people just so you don't gross them out or anything, buy a separate pot, like a mini pot or something, or like a bowl. This is what I have. I bought this from Dollarama. So what I do is I literally just put boiling water into here and then I'll put the cup inside and just let it sit in there in the boiling water and then just clean this out and just keep it in your bathroom. If I forgot to mention anything or if I, you know, miss some tips that you guys might have who have used menstrual cups, leave them in the comments below for other people to read if you guys have specific questions that maybe I forgot to answer or also add into the video. Ask away and I'll get back to you as soon as possible as well. I mean, I don't consider myself a professional with this. Although I had a way better experience this time around, I think I still need about like two more cycles to really get used to this and you know, get it right. And if I don't get it right perfectly by that time, maybe I'll just try another cup. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!